I'm uh, Eric Ezechieli, I'm from Italy, and uh, I'm a co-founder of Nativa, which is a catalyst to accelerate the evolution towards sustainability. And uh, I define myself a regenerative entrepreneur because uh, everything we do at Nativa goes towards regeneration of society, the biosphere, and uh, shared and durable economic prosperity. Over the years, we have cut the connection between uh, the biosphere, between nature and humans. And we think that food comes from factories, comes from uh, supermarkets. Actually, food comes from nature. And uh, if we understand or regain this awareness about the fact that the food is so strongly and intimately connected with our well-being and the planetary well-being, we can really shift our food decision uh, on a daily basis. So uh, what's going on now? I would say there is uh, overall a very low level of awareness about the real impacts uh, of food on sustainability. But there are incredibly interesting positive examples about how to bridge this gap again. One of the takeaways from this dialogue with uh, Roberto Burdese of Slow Food is that if you think about uh, the, the hierarchy, the priorities, talking about sustainability, first of all, we need to assure the ecosystem balances, biodiversity, climate, nature, our spaceship must be uh, working properly and we must take care of that because if this is not working properly, society is going to be disrupted, the humans, people are going to be disrupted. And so this is the second level in terms of priority. So environment and biosphere first, and then society and humans. And then there is a layer on top, which is the economy. And this is a consequence of the other two. So the only economy that makes sense is an economy that regenerates the biosphere and that regenerates society. Or any other kind of economy doesn't make any sense and we are just starting to realize this. So this is a very powerful takeaway and also realizing that food is the most powerful and impactful connection between those three layers. I think a very good moment was the closing of the afternoon, the second plenary, and eventually we made a quite small and intimate circle of people and uh, we were really talking deeply about uh, our concerns, our priorities, our challenges, but not, uh, let's say, on a theoretical level or, or talking about someone else. We were talking about ourselves and what can, we can do individually. And I think when you connect on a human-to-human -human level, you, you, you really operate at the different level of consciousness and, and impact. Mm -hmm.